Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this presentation. I'm going to give a brief rundown of how you can access your Dropbox folder and submit your projects, your artifact, to this uh, online course. So what exactly is the online course? Well, you'll find it underneath No Semester Within D2L, or BlazeU. And what you need to look under is either it's going to be under All or None. So if you don't see it uh, under these two categories, All or None, um, No Semester, that means that you need to let me know that you're not able to view it. Then I'll work with you to make sure you're added into the course. You'll go through Media Center Post Workshop Training. That is the course shell. Within the course shell, you'll have a lot of material. So I usually provide information about what's going on in the class in the news section and how you can access it. A content browser is where you're going to work from. You're definitely not going to see all of the material that you see here because uh, you may have only attended Camtasia or may have attended Adobe Audition. It varies between what course shell you're actually attended uh, via face-to-face -face workshop. So I'm going to change my role right now from instructor to student. That way I can show you more or less what you're going to see. Okay, so again, there are two different ways of how you can access your Dropbox submission folder. First way that I'm going to describe is a lengthy way. So in this way, you'll need to go to Camtasia 8.0. Inside of Camtasia 8.0, you'll see that you have a variety of objects. Now, if you do not see this folder right here, Camtasia 8.0 Basics, then that means you have not taken the pre-assessment yet. So make sure you go through the pre-assessment and then actually at the end, just click Submit at the bottom. So after you put in your responses, click Submit to actually be able to finalize everything. So I'm going to go back out to Camtasia 8.0. And uh, of course, we see it a slightly different way. I'm not in the content browser. I'm actually in the uh, menu view. And inside of here, uh, you look at the very bottom. So here we are, Camtasia 8.0 Basics. And we'll look for Camtasia Dropbox. You'll click on the Camtasia Dropbox file. And that will take you to where you will submit your work. So in, in here, you see that there's an upload button or a way to drag and drop your file. So there are two methods that you can insert your video file. Click Upload, and you'll locate your finalized video that you've produced. So make sure you choose whatever it is that you're working on. In this case, I've already had it directed to that specific file. Choose In this case, I'll choose Draw Tools because that's an actual mp4 video that I've uploaded and it's only about 8 megabytes in size. I can see that in the type, size, etc. Click open and it's going to start the process of uploading my file. Once it's done, uh, I can leave a comment if I want to further inform the instructor about whatever it is that I was working on and then click submit to Dropbox. Once I submit this to Dropbox, I will eventually get an email that will populate. And you'll notice that. Let me refresh my page. I notice it as a red dot. That symbolizes that you've got a new message. So I'll click on the Dropbox submission receipt. And that notifies me that, uh, not me as an instructor, me as a student, that indeed it has been sent off and it should be received by the instructor soon. A separate way of doing this, instead of having to go through the content browser, and go back to Course Home. A separate way is to use uh, the drop-down menus up at the top. So it's here, Assessment. So I click on the Assessment drop-down menu, and here I see Dropbox. So I could click on that as well, and then I'll find Camtasia Dropbox as an option here. Currently, I do not have a grade for that. So um, thus, I'll go to Camtasia Dropbox, and I'll see the, the rubric that I've put together and also um, the same ability to add a file and add comments. So the rubric, make sure you use this to help you help guide you uh, with what kind of feedback I'm looking for to give you a, a decent grade. Um, you can attempt this as many times as necessary. I'm not looking to actually provide a grade, uh, more or less uh, looking to help you improve. That's the real goal because this isn't a real class, but this is more of a self-improvement uh, type of experience. So um, with all that stated, um, if you have any questions, just email me at kwculpepper at valdosta.edu, and I'll gladly get back with you.